Koba, you weren't in school this whole week. We learned loads, and the teacher gave us a science test. Well, I've been sick all week. Sorry, but why is a sick person washing clothes? I'm feeling a little better. Mama has gone to get me some pain medications, and she left Mwanda and Baraka behind. So why isn't Baraka working? I'm working. I'm playing with the baby. Ha ha ha. This young brother of yours? You see? That's why I have to do all the important stuff for Mwanda, like cooking, washing her clothes, making sure she has slept, and taking care of her even though I'm sick. Whoa, that's tough. This week we learned about brain science, and today Miss Molota gave us a test on it. So that means I missed a test? Yup. But don't be too sad, Koba. Everyone who missed the test today will do it on Monday. Can I borrow your book so I can prepare for the test? No way. What if you lose Please, it? Please, Kibana. I'll take good care of it. <laughs> okay, but be careful. Thank you, Kibana. Ah. Time to give Mwanda her milk. See ya, Koba. You'd better take care of my book. Stop worrying. I'll take good care of it. Aha! <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> I'm rehearsing for some play auditions. Phew. Huh. I'm pretty good. I definitely fooled you. Okay, I'm leaving now. Mama Tech has an event and she's asked me to help her cook. Look after Mendo, you two. There's a lot of dangerous things like fire here. It's not safe for a little child. I've got an audition. Kobo will watch Wenda. I'm Wenda's. supposed to be studying. I have a test on Monday. Stop drawing on the book. Wenda's not that much trouble. You'll be able to study. I hope Mwenda grows up to be as loving and creative as her brothers. Okay, let's go, Baraka. Does that mean I have to look after Mwenda? Eh? The brain develops fast. The first three years of childhood are the most important. Ah, yummy! Uh oh. <laughs> Brain development starts before the child is born. For the brain to develop fully, it needs good nutrition, stimulation, physical exercise, and positive interaction with other people. Hey! Interacting with other people can help a child's brain develop? <laughs> Seriously? What could I possibly discuss with Mwanda? Mwanda, what are we going to talk about? Mwanda, no! No! Ah. Uh. You idiot! Mwanda, stop crying! Why is Mwanda crying? Nothing! She's just tired. What's wrong, Mwanda? Idiot! Idiot? Mwanda, that's not a nice thing to say. Uh, I came to pick up my book. I hope you've read the so notes. So soon? Kibana, I'm not done yet. But I gave it to you yesterday. The book has so much material. You think I can finish it in just a day? I'll give it back on Monday. Okay then, make sure you bring it on Monday. Bye, Mwanda. Bye. Mm. She'll never know what happened. Go get some stronger glue. Wanda, <laughs> why are you such an idiot? <laughs> idiot. <laughs> now I can write everything that was on the book. In the book, there was something about the brain. Hmm. They said the brain is... Well... I... I can't remember! 
You know, brain science is a very broad topic. What is it you want to learn? Hmm. Well, you want to know all about the brain? Just ask me. I know all about the brain. I can tell you all about neural pathways and a whole lot more. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Where did you learn that kind of language? <laughs> Someone must have used that word in front of her. It must have been Baraka. He's always saying stupid things. What an uh -huh. idiot. Uh -huh. No way. I only uh -huh. said it once. Only once? And she's learned it already? <laughs> so when a child hears a new word, it creates a neural pathway in their brain. Mwenda must have heard that word a lot, and that's why she remembers it. So whatever words we say frequently sticks in the child's yep, brain? Yep, the first three years of life are very important for a child. Oh. It is the time when the brain develops most. And for a child's brain to develop properly, they need... Good nutrition, brain stimulation, and good interactions with others. I know that. Children learn language by communicating with others. That's why they copy the sounds they hear. When you use good words, they copy you. And when you use bad words, they copy too. <laughs> so Mamandege's chicks learn to speak bird language because that's the language that their mother used to speak to them? Oh, so that's why babies all over the world learn different languages. So I could teach Mwenda English? Yeah, we're not limited to learn only one language. We can learn whatever languages we hear around us a lot. Ah. If you speak to Mwenda in English often enough, she will learn it. Ha! Bye, Bye Koba. Where are you going? The forest. Why? But I'm not done writing the notes. I still need your help. Sorry, Koba. Go find Kibana. She'll help you out. to hit others, then you shouldn't hit her either. You want me not to hit her when she How hits others? How can you tell others? her that hitting is bad if you hit her too? Don't you know that Mwenda copies what you do? Okay then, expert Kiduchu. What would you do if your sister misbehaves? Well, why do you think Mwenda wanted to hit Gemma? Because she was angry. So then you need to teach her how to control her emotions. My ball. Wenda, let's take some deep breaths to help you feel better. Breathe with me. Wenda will learn more if she sees you doing the same. Now blow your anger out. Wow, she's calmed down. See, however you react when you're angry or when you feel other difficult emotions, Mwenda will copy me. So when I argue with Baraka in front of Mwenda, Mwenda will copy that. And she'll imitate you when you do good things too. That makes sense. So if Mwenda is going to imitate the way I act, it's my responsibility to act as a good role model. Hitting others is not nice, Mwenda. You should go apologize to Gemma. Sorry! Mwanda listens to you. Sometimes you've got to act like a child to show how good kids behave. You also have to listen to them and respond, even if they don't speak real words. That's what was written in Kibana's book. Interactions with others helps a child's brain to develop. Children learn by watching what other people do. Hey, how's Mwenda? Whoa, 
Are you changing your hair? Yeah, I'm trying to switch up my hairstyle to see how I look. What about this? Look good? <laughs> look at what your sister's doing. Yay! What's she doing? Look at Mwenda. She was trying to make the balloon and comb pass through the wire mesh. And when she realized they couldn't fit through, she decided to find an object that can fit through. <laughs> Wow! Maybe I can learn from Wenda too. I can try different ways of styling my hair until I find the one that looks good on me. Oh, now this looks good. So children learn through trying things out too, not just by following instructions. Yep. This is dangerous. But they can also try to do dangerous things. That's why it's important to keep an eye on them so they don't hurt themselves. Very true. Ready! Ready or not? <laughs> oh, where's Wanda? You play with Wanda today? You always say you don't like childish games. I discovered that Wanda needs a lot more than just being fed, having clean clothes, and sleeping for her to grow and develop. Oh, so when I play with her, I'm helping her brain's development? I'm the best brother. We need to be good role models from Wanda. We shouldn't argue or say bad words in front of her because she'll imitate us. How are your additions? Imagine they gave me the part of a three-year-old. I don't even say anything. I'm just standing there with my mother. You know what? They think I'm too little. I'm old, just short. I'm sorry, but you can use it as an opportunity. Opportunity? Yes, you can ace that part. The next time you'll be able to get a better part that you actually like. I'll be a star, but how can I play a little kid? Well, you can show how kids learn languages good habits and bad habits as well, and how they learn through trial and errors like Manda. Look! Oh, you know, there's a song that says just that. We have the power to change the nation. learn from watching us yeah what's up those lorry drivers took Ibana's book with the garbage I spent so much time rewriting those notes and now they're gone hey what will you do write a new one time's up Kibana wants her book back oh no what will you say to her and you have an exam on Monday oh sorry bro How was the exam? It was easy. I've learned so much from looking after Mwanda. Like how babies learn languages from us. And how we help them develop well by being good role models. And how sometimes they experiment to learn more about their environment. Nice one. Can I please have my notes back now? <coughs> <coughs> hmm. Well, Kibana. Your book was destroyed, and then... You lost my book? We're going to sit together and write them all out again. <laughs> it's okay. I have the original copy right here. You really think I would give anyone the original copy of my notes? I normally rent the one I gave you out for 100 shillings. You're lucky I didn't charge you anything for it. <laughs> <laughs> Eh, what did you say? Whoa, my daughter knows how to say thank you. She's growing up to be as kind as her brothers. Well, we all look up to Koba, the best brother and role model. Show the way for the next generation We 
we can make a better tomorrow by helping little ones find a path to follow. Early years are big learning years. What they learn today determines who they become. Help younger children grow to be the best they can be. Show them love and kindness. Feed their curiosity. Young brothers and sisters look up to us. Young friends and neighbors look up to us. Young kids at school look up to us. We are role models for all who see us. Behave in the way you want them to behave. Model good behavior through what you say. Encourage little ones to do better every day. Be kind and responsible in every way. Behave in the way you want them to behave. Model good behavior through what you say. Encourage little ones to do better every day. Lead by example, do what you say. Be the change you want to create. Be the change you want to create. We have the power to change the nation. Show the way for the next generation. We can make a better tomorrow by helping little ones find a path. To be filled with knowledge. In the first three years, we learn so much, even more than we will at college. The whole world is new to us. We need to try things out. We learn through listening and watching you by playing and throwing things about. Young brothers and sisters look up to us. Young friends and neighbors look up to us. Young kids at school look up to us. We are role models for all who see us. He could become the next Mandela. She could become the next Samia. An astronaut or brain surgeon. Help the little ones be the best they can be. I'll show my sister to calm down and not lash out. I will teach my cousin kind words to make people smile. I will encourage my neighbors to never give up. We have the power to change the nation. Show the way for the next generation. We can make a better tomorrow by helping little ones find a path to follow. Early years are big learning years. What they learn today determines who they become. Help younger children. To be the best they can be. Show them love and kindness. Feed their curiosity.
What is mathematics? Mental acrobatics every day, all the time. Just use your mind. You use math when you measure. Width and length, solving problems using mental strength. Use number operations like multiplication. The number you'll find is like magic from your mind. Math is a part of everyday life. Just add, subtract, divide, and multiply. Can you solve the problem? Did you get the answer? Just use your brain and you can do it, sir. Now, don't you rush it. Just take it slow. You must be careful. Don't you know? You use math for all things in life. When you eat your gali, you count your bites. In a parade, count the steps you take. Just listen when I rap. I'm using math. Calculate the distance when you drive your car so you will know if you've gone far. Here's something else for you to count. Can you count the teeth in my mouth? We can measure width, length, and depth and represent with X, Y, and Z. Math is used for everything. Just do the numbers in your head. Now try to add up all the spots on my neck. How many do you see? And I even use math to get leaves off the tree. Mathematics, mathematics, you now, right? mathematics, <laughs> Never miss out on new Ubaulu Kids videos ever again. Subscribe today and become the first to know every time new fun educational content is available. Simply type Ubaulu Kids English on the search bar. Click on the Ubaulu Kids English channel page. Click subscribe on the right hand corner of your screen. What are you waiting for? You are three easy steps away from joining the Ubaulu Kids family.